Uh, my hearing loss is primarily due to a lot of gunfire uh, explosions during my military life of 21 years. And um, although it didn't worry me too much, it's, it's, it seems to have increased slightly in later years. You know, going out at night, I was missing out. Going to the club or the, or the pub, you know, yeah. you sort of miss out on conversation. And, uh, and I, I was feeling probably a little bit isolated in that, in that fact. I decided that one time when I went to do my normal check with the GP that I had to do something about it. So on asking the GP on uh, have a look, he had a look and he said, yes, you definitely got a hearing problem. It's uh, not a problem with your actual wax or anything like that. So a lot of people were saying to me, you know, didn't you hear me? And they were repeating it and uh, Val was on my back, you know, you're not listening to me. A lot of jokes going around that you had selective hearing, but it was actually a hearing problem. The wife and I was in the doctor's surgery one day and the doctor said something and I turned around to the wife and I said, what did he say? And he caught me and he said, are you having trouble hearing? And when I looked at him, I could hear him. You know, and I said, yeah, sometimes I do have trouble with things. And I had to go and get, this is all you go and get your ears checked. And that's how it started. The service has been excellent actually and the staff are very, very good and they're very helpful. I mean, there's not very many places that say to you, if you have a problem, give us a call, come back and see us. And their guarantee on what their services are and their equipment is excellent. They've been unbelievable. I've never done my hearing to be so good. It's amazing the technology changes. Mm. Um, you know, hearing and background noise, for example, yep. is much better now than what it was in 1990. Mm. Um, you know, it's a digital age, so you know everything's getting better. The technology's there. I've got no outside noise that interferes with you. The way they're set, I can have a conversation with you. I can hear outside noise, but it's not taken over. Well, the benefits are that it really, if Val has a, a certain volume on the TV and I can't hear it and I want to hear it, then I can use the remote control and turn it up to whatever volume I want. If I don't wish to watch that program or hear the TV, then I can control it with the remote rather than reach over and, and turn hers off. The direction of sound has improved because now, if there's a sound somewhere, I can look at the direction of where I'm pretty sure the sound's coming from. Whereas before, a sound, you didn't take much notice of it. It was something that was there, but now something happens, oh yes, you have a look out and you know which direction it's coming from. Where I have found it good is, especially the old hearing aids used to have to be in front of them to hear them. These ones, I can hear the same volume, whether anyone's behind me, beside me, in front of me, or anywhere. It's, it's, uh, they're just unreal on that position, you know. Uh, as I'm getting older and I'm, you know, got lots of spare time, I spend a lot of time fishing. So um, up till now, I really haven't wanted to wear a hearing aid in that environment. Mm. And it's a harsh environment. You've, you've got, it's, and it's all salt water. Uh, I fish the beach and the, and the rocks and in boats and, uh, and up till now I've never bothered to really risk wearing a hearing aid in that, in that environment. It's maintenance, I think, you know, if you're, if you're fishing and quite often I'll cop a, a wave or something, you know, a bit of spray and, and that's, that's the end of a hearing aid, you know, and salt water's not very kind to them. Environment's very, very humid. Uh, for about uh, nine or ten months of the year whenever you're working outside you're sweating so you've got water pouring down off your head round your ears and things and the hearing aids just couldn't take it. Well, up here in North Queensland like as I said we're living next to the rainforest we've got a lot of humidity especially in the wet season when it's raining for weeks on end it could be up to nine weeks of, of rain the humidity is very high I perspire a lot the hearing aids get full of moisture you dry them out at night you put them on, they're full of moisture within 10 minutes again. Inside the hearing aid, uh, the biggest thing with this is that it, it's, it's waterproof. And, uh, and as I spend a lot of time in or near water, then um, you know, it's a great benefit. In an environment like this, the waterproofing is unbelievable. They're dried, they're sealed. I just give them a wipe over when I take them off. If there is any little bit of moisture around the seal, I just put them in the dryer thing for the night with the battery out. 
compared to the other hearing aids, you can't beat them. I've been given a, a pair of sports clips, they call them, and the hearing aids fit in those and the clips fit around your ears and they've been marvellous. The advantage of the sporting clip is it gives you a secure fitting to your ear. Uh, you can feel that clip all the time there and if for some reason your hearing aid gets caught in wait a while or a branch of a tree or some sort of vine or you actually hit a mosquito or an ant and knock it off, you actually feel it pulling off your ear. Uh, I'm much more confident in wearing it all the time now, whereas previously I wouldn't wear them in the bush uh, and circumstances where I thought they could be torn off. Yeah, there's no, there's no comparison. I mean, Aquarius is, you know, it's, it's waterproof, so, and you've got every confidence of, of wearing it in there. You know, with something like this, is, it's just unbelievable, really. I mean, you, you know, you can wear it just about anywhere. <laughs>